Hey, I'm Kevin. Welcome to a song tutorial for Steve Goodman's City of New Orleans. This one was written by Steve Goodman in 1971 and recorded by Willie Nelson and Arlo Guthrie. We're going to check out the Arlo Guthrie version today, go through the chords, the strumming pattern, put it all together, play it, have some fun, get your uke tuned up, and let's get to it. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that alert bell so you know when the next video is coming your way. If you're interested in more learning resources, head over to allforyuke.com where we have a full searchable library of songs, song sheets, practice tracks, worksheets, and more. All for you, allforyuke.com. Let's get into the strumming pattern here. So we're going to try to create a train type of a feel for this one. So that's why I picked the strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So here's how we play that. We start with a down strum, and I'm just holding a C chord here for the demonstration. And then it's down, up, down, up, down, up. And the way that we count this is one, two, and three, and four, and. So let's just try this together nice and slow so you can hear how this sounds with a C chord. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and... So that's the strumming pattern we'll use throughout the song. And the good news is the intro is just a C chord four times with that strumming pattern. Now let's get into the verse. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Riding on the city of New Orleans. Illinois Central Monday morning rain. All right, let's check out the chords for this section. So we just need four of them, starting with the classic C major here. So just ring finger on the A string of the third fret. Our second chord is an A minor chord. Middle finger on the second fret of the G string. And then we have the F chord, which is played here. Second fret of the G string, first fret of the E string. And then we have a G major chord. C string, second fret, G string, third fret, and A string on the second fret. It should sound like this. So those are the four chords that we need. We're gonna use the same strumming pattern here. Let's just take a walk through the first couple lines of the verse. So we start off on the C chord with one time through the strumming pattern. And then we move to the G chord. So a little trick here that I like to use is I like to keep my middle finger down on the second fret of the A string when I'm switching back and forth between C and G because it creates a little pivot finger for me to move back and forth. So when I play this, I go C, G, and back to C. See that switch is nice and easy. Then we move on to the second line of the verse here, and we go to an A minor chord, and we'll play that one time. Nice easy move here to the F chord by adding our index finger to the first fret on the E string. And then I keep my ring finger here positioned over the A string so that I can make this nice easy move back to C and I'll strum that two times. And for this verse section here, the second two lines of the verse are the same as the first two lines of the verse, except for there is a switch from the F to the G chord in the last line of the verse. So just a little note on that before we play it. All right, I'll give us a four count in. We'll start on the C chord. I'm not gonna sing through this, so just follow along with the chords. Here we go. One, two, three, four, C, G, Stay on the C, C, G, back to C. And then we go to A minor, G, C. Now I'm going to demonstrate the pre chorus section. I'm just going to hang on the A minor a little bit as I start this up. Here we go. All along the southbound Odyssey, the train pulls out of Kankakee, rolls along past houses, farms, and fields. Passing trains that have no name, freight. 
great yards full of old black men, the graveyards of the rusted automobiles. So let's check out the new chords for this section. We need an E minor chord here, our little staircase on the second, third, and fourth fret of the C, E, and A strings should sound like this. We also have a D major chord, so we can play that here on the second fret with our middle ring and pinky on the G, C, and E string, or you could use index, middle, and ring for that D chord there. Another new chord for the section is a G7 chord. Looks sort of like the G chord, but sounds a little bit more bluesy. And we have our middle finger on the C string of the second fret, Index on the first fret of the E string, ring finger on the A string of the second fret. Sounds like this. And then we also have a C7 chord, nice and easy. Index finger, A string of the first fret. Nice bluesy C chord there. So here we go now. I'm going to walk through the pre chorus section with the strumming pattern and just kind of talk us through it here. So we start off on the A minor chord. We'll strum through this two times. And then we move to E minor. I like to play this with my pinky, ring, and middle finger to set myself up because I'm going to be moving to the G chord. You could also do it with ring, middle, and index and do the full chord switch here by switching all of your fingers. I just find this is a little easier because I'm already using my ring and my middle finger of the G chord before I move there. So that's a nice little switch to work on, a nice trick switching between E minor and G is using that pinky. Plus, using your pinky is just good to do in general for just kind of having the access to a lot of different chords. So once we're on the G chord, we're gonna be going back to the D chord. So you could either slide your ring finger back to the second fret from the third and place your index and middle up here on the top two strings, or you could go middle ring and pinky. I'll leave that up to you. I kind of, in this situation, like the ring finger slide here to the D chord back and forth to the G. Now for the second half of the pre-chorus, we start off exactly the same. We play the A minor and E minor twice. The last line is where we have a little variation. So in the last line of the pre-chorus, we go to a G chord one time. And then we switch to a G7. So we gotta swap out all of our fingers here to G7. And then we move to a C chord by sliding our ring finger over to the third fret. And then C7 one time. So let's take a walk through this section together nice and slow. I'll just go through the chords and say them as we go. I'll give us a nice four count in, starting on the A minor. One, two, three, four. A minor. E minor with a pinky. G, G again, and then we're sliding over to D. A minor, back to E minor, then G, G7, C, C7. And that is the pre-chorus section. Now let's jump into the chorus. If you're digging the sound of my uke, head over to allforuke.com slash shop. You can have a Kala ukulele for yourself. When you buy your Kala ukulele through All For Uke, you're supporting us and we really appreciate it. Make sure you check it out. Concerts, sopranos, tenors, baritones, a wide selection of accessories, capos, and more. All for you, allforuke.com slash shop. Don't bore us, get to the chorus. Here we go with a quick demo of the chorus section. One, two, three, four. Good morning, America, how are you? I said, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train that called the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. Only a couple of new chords here for this section. The first one is a D7 chord, which we'll play with our middle finger on the G string of the second fret, ring finger here on the E string of the second fret. 
Nice open sounding D7. And then everybody's favorite chord, B flat. Oh yes, it's a beauty. So the B flat chord, we're only gonna have to play it for one strum, which is great, but we play that with our ring finger here on the third fret of the G string, middle finger on the C string second fret, and then we bar the bottom two strings here, the E and the A string on the first fret. So it should sound like this. If you would like, you could also bar the entire first fret because you're actually achieving the same thing, just trying to cover those bottom two strings. So you have this option and this option here for the B flat. So let's take a look at this chord progression now. So I'll kind of walk through it, give you some of the lyrics and do some of the strumming, but mostly show you how these chords are going to work together in this section. So we start off on an F chord and we'll strum this one time. And then we move to the G chord, which will be strummed one time and then C, which is twice. Then we move to an A minor chord here for the second line, which starts with, don't you know me, I'm your native son. We move nice and easy from A minor to the F chord, which we play once. And then we finish off this line with C one time and G one time. The third line of this section here starts off on a C chord. So we start off with one strum on the C. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And this is where they say, I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. We go to a G chord. And then we finish off this phrase here with the A minor D7 switch. So we do one time on A minor. Nice easy move to D7 here by adding our ring finger to the E string of the second fret. It's the nice setup for, yes, your favorite, B flat. So let's take a look at what happens when we get to the B flat chord here. So what I'm doing is I play a single down strum on the B flat, and then I play a muted strum. So I release the pressure from this B flat chord, but I still touch the strings so that when I strum through the second time, it's muted. So it's down, mute. And I do the exact same thing when I get to the F chord. I do down. And I'm gonna mute that. I like to take my ring finger here because it's available and lay that on the strings. I just touch the strings, I don't compress them and I get that mute sound. So here's what that would sound like together. Down, mute, down, mute. And then when we get to the G chord, we pick back up with the strumming pattern. And then we move to our final chord, which is the C chord and we play that twice. So let's put this all together now. I'll give us a four count in, starting on the F chord. One, two, three, four, F, G, C, A minor, F, C, G, back to C, G, A minor. D7, here comes the B flat. Down, mute, down, mute, strum the G and C. Before we play this one together, do me a little favor, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share this video with your friends and leave your comments below. If you would like a PDF of this full song with the chords, the strumming pattern, all of the goodies, jump over to allforyuke.com. I have all the resources you need, check them out. Now for the grand finale, let's play this one together. I'm gonna start off by just doing the intro four times on the C chord, and then we'll go verse, pre-chorus, chorus, follow along on the beautiful Blue bar, here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Hop on the train, riding on the city of New Orleans. Illinois Central, Monday morning rail. Fifteen cars, fifteen restless riders. Three conductors, 25 sacks of mail to the pre-chorus. Let's bring it down a little bit. All along the southbound Odyssey, the train pulls out at Kankakee, rolls along past houses, farms, and fields. 
passing trains that have no name Freight yards full of old black men The graveyards and rusted automobiles Here comes the chorus Good morning America, how are you? I said, don't you know me? I'm your native son I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans I'll be gone 500 miles when 